Tragedy rocks at DeKalb County High School once again. Well, the school district confirming a student from Lakeside High School was killed in an early morning crash. Atlanta News First, Rachel Aragon is live outside the high school. And Rachel, counselors have been on campus before to comfort the community. Yeah, and Sally, that was not that long ago. Well, classmates I spoke to today regarding this morning's crash say that 16-year-old boy, along with the other students they lost earlier this year, will truly be missed. All I can say is it's, it's so sad, and I'm still kind of, you know, struck by another one this, this morning. The Lakeside High community grieving after the loss of another student this school year. The school district confirming Lakeside High School student Guillermo Aguas Bahena was killed following a crash early this morning. It's just sad. It's just very sad. DeKalb County police say the crash happened in the area of North Crest Road and Shambly Tucker Road. Police found the driver dead at the scene. Two other passengers in the car were injured. Last month, there was a crash involving three students from Lakeside High. One of the students, an 18 year old, was killed. Then in September, everyone knew who they were. Three Lakeside High School students were killed in a crash in Gwinnett County. He never gave me any trouble. Yeah, and um, I really miss my son. I really miss him. Parents of students at Lakeside High now trying to wrap their heads around the unexpected loss over the last six months. My heart goes out to the families, the sisters, the brothers. I couldn't imagine. I have twin boys. They're, uh, they're 16. They're in 10th grade here. I just could not imagine losing, losing a child. And the school district confirming to me that another student was in the car during this morning's crash. That student is expected to be released from the hospital. Meanwhile, the district also confirming that they have counselors and their crisis team on site throughout the week to provide support for those who need it. Pre-live in DeKalb County, Rachel Aragon, Atlanta News First.